Howdy, today on Flipping Science, we're looking at catalytic converters. science understandings you need to cover, describe and write equations showing how catalytic converters reduce the quantities of nitrogen oxides generated by motor vehicles. So uh, catalytic converters, they take nasty stuff and they turn it into less nasty stuff. So you have exhaust gases coming in from an engine, they pass over the catalyst bed and then they pass out as something that is less dangerous. So the exhaust gases, they come into contact with the catalyst and several different reactions happen. So carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. What happens there is, uh, so carbon monoxide is dangerous to breathe in, it replaces oxygen on blood, so it's very uh, not good for you. And you're turning into something less dangerous, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is still not great to breathe in, but um, it's not as bad as carbon monoxide. Uh, down here we have unburnt hydrocarbons. So uh, from the petrol, if not all of the petrol gets composted, you get some of the um, unburnt hydrocarbons coming through. Um, they react with oxygen, essentially you get a combustion reaction occurring. Um, Unburnt hydrocarbons are not good for the environment because they can produce things like peroxy acid or nitrates in photochemical smog reactions. So uh, the main bit you need to focus on is what happens to nitrogen oxides at the surface of the catalytic converter. So here we've got carbon monoxide reacting with nitric oxide and produces, produces nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide. So the uh, carbon monoxide you don't want to breathe in, we've already talked about that. The nitric oxide, the nitric oxide reacts with oxygen in the atmosphere in photochemical smog conditions to produce nitrogen dioxide, which is the brown haze that sits over cities. Um, it's not good to breathe in, it's bad for um, your respiratory system. Um, it also contributes to um, acid rain as well, so it's not a good gas to have out there. Um, to get the catalytic converter working, it needs to warm up, so um, it, you might not achieve the temperatures required for the activation energy to work um, in a small drive. Um, they're very handy and they have produced significant changes in atmospheric concentrations of nasty gases since they've been introduced, particularly carbon oxide, hydrogen carbons, so the unburnt hydrocarbons and the nitrogen oxides that we talked about. They're about 90% effective at turning the gases, uh, nasty gases into safer gases. Um, now I'm going to show you an animation showing how the uh, catalytic converter works. So here's a car. Um, we can see the engine of the car, and then we're going to zoom in on the catalytic converter that we can see as part of the exhaust system. So you can see the uh, shape of the catalytic converter here. You can see that there's a large surface area. So on that surface we have platinum atoms. We can see some nitric oxide coming into the surface, reacting and producing nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. And now we can see some carbon monoxide and oxygen reacting to produce carbon dioxide. And now we can see the gases coming in from one side. It's got carbon monoxide, water, nitrogen, and out the back we have nitrogen and carbon dioxide coming. And then that's emitted as exhaust out the tailpipe, out the back of the car. So thanks to Reese Lewis and Science Photo Library for the uh, animation there. So the student outline specifically talks about oxides of nitrogen. So in the animation we saw uh, this first one happening. So two nitric oxides producing nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. So again, we're reducing the concentration of uh, nitrogen oxide. Nitrogen dioxide is a nitrogen oxide as well, and we get a similar reaction occurring there at the catalyst bed. So any nitrogen dioxide that is produced immediately um, is turned into nitrogen and oxygen. Very little of this will be produced immediately. It takes a little while for the nitric oxide to turn into nitrogen dioxide. Um, the way it works is the platinum bed, that's a catalyst. Um, it reduces the activation energy for these reactions and the other ones we've talked about to occur. We don't really know how they work, but we know that they work, so we use them. So we've got a question here. It says, explain with the aid of equations how catalytic converters reduce the emission of nitrogen oxides from cars. So we'll start with the equations. So we had uh, nitric oxide going to nitrogen plus oxygen. So we'll have two of those. And we had nitrogen dioxide going to nitrogen plus oxygen. Uh, we had two of those and two of those. So there's our equations. So how do catalytic converters reduce the emission of nitrogen oxides from cars? Uh, the catalyst in the catalytic converter reduces the activation energy for the conversion of, in this case, nitric oxide to nitrogen and oxygen, and in this case, nitrogen dioxide to nitrogen and oxygen. Um, 
that leads to the emission of less dangerous gases. So nitric oxide isn't emitted, nitrogen and oxygen are emitted instead. And there we go. So that's one way of answering the question. So today on Flipping Science, we looked at how catalytic converters work. That's it for Flipping Science today. See ya.